Today we have a new brand focused product application video. Merit Beauty has sent over their brand new fragrance. This is their very first fragrance. We're gonna give that baby a try. I'm doing the intro after doing the video. I know what it smells like. Just wait. They sent over a new cheek blush as well as their new bronze balm. A lot of brands are releasing new products, but the question is, do you actually need them? And that is what we're gonna focus on today. We're gonna apply product, trying the new stuff, but also applying and sharing honest feedback on product that I've had for a while. The do's, the don'ts, the pros and the cons, all in this video, so let's dive on in. We're starting off with product I've already featured here on the channel, and I tend to use pretty consistently their great skin in priming moisturizer. This is actually really nice. It's not going to add radiance. It's not going to smooth out your pores. It is literally going to do what it says. It is going to moisturize the skin and prime the skin, prepping it for any makeup or anything that you're going to be applying over top of it. This is beautiful because you can apply it on its own and use it as skincare, my base. I love their stick. It is called their, I don't have my glasses here. Man, I left them on um, my end table in my room. The Perfecting Complexion Stick. I really like that you guys are enjoying these brand and product focus reviews because you get to see product in action prior to you running out and purchasing it, but also you get to see how to use the product. And in many cases, if I have product I've already tried and I've been using, I can give you like a real raw review, not just, hey, let's apply it first impressions and let's move forward. Y'all can see, I've put a really good dent in these. And the reason why I have three different shades is because one works as my perfect concealer shade. The other one is two shades deeper and that is going to be for all over the face. And this is the shade that I've been using to bronze and contour the skin. It is a multi-use stick. So technically you can get the shade that is like your perfect skin match and use it to cover up imperfections on the skin. If you wanted to go like makeup free, let it sit for a second and dab it in and you are basically concealing your imperfections and you don't have to wear a full face of makeup. This is such a beautiful product. The shade I use for concealing is called Caramel and this is uh, basically two shades lighter than my actual complexion. My spot on shade, that's a good shade match for me, is going to be Khaki. And then the shade that I use to contour or add some dimension back onto the skin is going to be sepia. They're really forgiving and super easy to use. Plus, they're so travel friendly. So I'm gonna go in with camel. I don't know if I said caramel or camel, but it's camel. I'm gonna apply that under the eyeball and then I'll go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. I will take that shade also and apply her here, here, and here. I have normal combo skin. This works beautifully for me. If you have dry skin, use the primer moisturizer, but make sure that you're really, really hydrating the skin. Otherwise, it could look a little dry on the skin. It is a beautiful cream to kind of like powder formula. You're gonna get a nice medium coverage, but you can build it up. And because it's a cream formula, I'm able to like move forward to the next shade and that's gonna be the khaki shade because it is like a medium. I don't need a lot. Do you see that shade match? It looks so freaking good. So I'm going to apply it basically everywhere else, right? Pew, 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 pew. Oh. Um, and then I'll start blending and then I'll talk to you guys. You guys are so kind. Thank you so much because in yesterday's video, I really was kind of going through it. I was sleep deprived. I had a really, really crappy day and it was very much the whole, I needed me time therapy. It was a lot yesterday. So I really appreciate you guys and y'all are like amazing and so supportive. So I really appreciate you. Like you guys have no idea. I'm gonna go in with the brush. I'll keep talking to you guys. This is a Kabuki. It looks dirty and it is because I used it yesterday. I'm gonna use this brush to buff in the product. In reality, it's not gonna matter which shade I'm buffing in first because they're not too far off. The contrast is not that different. These blend so seamlessly and so pretty. And I 
really don't have to worry about there being a disruption, interruption, or like a division between the two shades. That said, if you're gonna use a deeper shade to like bronze and contour, you wanna do everything else first and then do the bronzing and the contouring because the contrast between your regular shade, your concealer shade, and that deeper shade is definitely gonna make a difference. I am just gonna keep buffing. Miss Cam, I it's over, thank God. It seems she woke up in good spirits. She's feeling great. She's not complaining that her throat hurts. She's been pretty good. I mean, I did run to the pharmacy and pick up like the lollipops for sore throats and that kind of thing for kids because she can't do honey. She has a really crazy gag reflex. So she can't do the honey because it grosses her out. She has a texture issue. I just grabbed these lollipops that help soothe sore throats and they're for toddlers. I grabbed Tylenol, I, I grabbed uh, Pedialyte, I grabbed a lot of stuff. We didn't have to use most of it. She seems to be pretty good so far this morning. Had an appetite, literally told me she was starving, which I was like, Okay. Today she truly was doing so much better. I eat, I'm in better spirits. I'm in a good mood. Girl, I don't do a lot to my hair because I mean, I try to avoid a lot of heat in my hair and stuff, but mira, I did something. Like we did something different. I had the energy for that. I was able to sleep a little better. Her brain though, I she has so much dialogue. 24 seven going on. She's sleeping and last night she was waking up talking. She sat down and had a whole conversation and I have the baby monitor still watching her, right? This little girl's just talking. And I was like, who's she talking to? Cause I was like, if this girl's seeing ghosts, that's scary, but no, no, no. She was sleeping, sleep talking and playing by herself. It was weird. This is what the skin is looking like. It's blended, it's looking good. It looks very, very natural. We have to add some dimension, some depth, some life back onto this skin. And that is where we're gonna try their very first product that's brand new to me. I have brow products and stuff like that, but I'm not gonna be using those in today's video. I'll do that off camera just cause it takes a minute. So this is brand new. This is called their Bronze Balm. It is in Leo, very nice shade. Is it gonna be on the red side or not? I tend to apply my bronzer, cream bronzer in two different ways. I can go onto the skin and then buff it out or go in with a brush. So let's do it both ways and see which one I prefer. I like the packaging, isn't it cute? Okay, so I, I feel like we're gonna start off with the brush side. I usually like the brush side better as your buffing it in and blending it into the skin, it just looks more natural versus having to blend out a, a line, you know? Let's go on to this side here. And that was kind of wild of me because I haven't even swatched it to see if this is gonna be a great... It's a beautiful shade, but you guys, this is very forgiving. I mean, here's one light swatch. So to really get it to be intense, you have to build it up, which is good because there's a lot of people who find it complicated to bronze and blend and, you know, are like, man, I messed up so early or you're just freshly new to like makeup. Sometimes you just want to look natural. You don't want it to be too much from the get. This is pretty because you can build her up. I like this. It looks good. It's like the perfect shade for me, by the way. So if, if we are like complexion twins, sepia might be a really good shade. I like that. Okay, I like it with the brush. I'm gonna go in directly with the stick. You see how forgiving it is? Like you can kind of see it, but it doesn't look super harsh. Let's begin the blending. So Mary Beauty is expanding their makeup line. Now they have these bronzer sticks, they have complexion, lips, which we will be um, applying one today. They have mascara. And now you guys, we've got fragrance. And I feel like a lot of brands are launching fragrances. Brands that you would never expect to launch fragrances are launching fragrances. We are going to smell this Merit Beauty fragrance together. I just thought it would make sense to do it once my makeup is on so we look cute, whether it goes well or does not. I wanna look cute. And we have a new blush. I featured their blushes here several times, but this is a shade that I actually don't already own. I feel like whether I went in with a brush or went in with the stick, it looks fairly similar. I did like just being able to apply and buff as I went and not have to worry about blending out a harsh line. Otherwise, it looks it looks the same, technically. I do like it because it's forgiving, it's lightweight. And because it's a cream, I can go in, set the skin with a powder, and then intensify the bronze if I needed to. I am 
going to set the under eye, set the skin, and then I'll be right back. I did the brows. I did a little bit of a glitter eye. I wanted to keep the eye very, very simple. I set the skin and I did not go back in with any more bronzer. I felt like it wasn't necessary. I think the skin looks natural. Don't look at that, okay? Cause it's like, <sighs> so there's a bump. Anyway, um, I feel like the skin is looking really pretty, very natural, very, very much the way that I like it. So I didn't go in with any more bronzer. I am going to use the Merit Beauty Mascara. How can I sum up the way I feel about this mascara? I still have it because I like it. However, drugstore mascaras pretty much do the same thing. So I feel like it's a nice mascara, but it's not the most amazing mascara I've tried. I think I prefer it for the lower lash line over, like all over the lash. I'm showing you what it did to the top lashes so you can kind of see. It's not necessarily doing the most. Like it's emphasizing this is nice for every day. We have to keep it real. I am picky with my mascaras and I will only spend a lot of money on a mascara if it's life-changing. And to be fair, this one, this, this one's not. I am gonna move forward and elevate the lashes a little bit because for the eyes, I feel like it's necessary, but I wanted to show you guys. Here we have two coats. Like I didn't even bother doing the third one because it's not gonna do much of anything, but this is what you're getting. You can get the same effect from drugstore. We can move on to the cheeks now. And I have two that are called flush bones and the other ones are cheek colors. I have Beverly Hills, Persimmon, which I've featured here a lot, Mood and Raspberry Beet, which is gonna be amazing on deeper complexions. Oh, how beautiful is that? But here's the thing, they sent over a new one called Cheeky. This is part of their Flush Balm line. How pretty is that? I figured we can try her together. I'm gonna use this Anissa Beauty brush. I know, I know, I know. It's a skincare brush, but it's a brush nonetheless, and we can multi-purpose the product that we use. I tend to do that here on the channel because it just makes sense. It is a flush balm. It's going to give you that flushed effect. Can you build it? Absolutely. If you don't have to. It's. I love their line because it is foolproof. It is easy to use. The quality is amazing. You don't have to be scared to use it. This is perfect for professionals, but it's also perfect for anyone who is just starting off or getting back into makeup and you're a little a little concerned because you don't want to mess up. I feel like this, I went in three times. You can't mess this up. It's pretty, it has some radiance to it, but it's not shimmer, it's just hydration. So you look like it's your skin, but better. It looks healthy. I love, ow, I hit my elbow. I freaking love, ow, I really hit, that hurt. Um, <laughs> I really, really love this. This is also beautiful for anyone that likes to apply blush on their nose to look flushed. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side. And because it is a hydrating blush, I am gonna go in with like my setting powder and kind of blend out that division, which is pretty normal. Most products do that, not all of them do, and that's okay. The shade Cheeky is the kind of shade that I've been going towards lately. Pinky, wearable, like very perfect for like every day. And I love, again, a lot of their product is very travel friendly. I took my hair down and fixed that bump because it was driving me nuts. Now for the lips, we are going to apply a lip oil. I do have three shades here to show you. I have swatches right here, taupe at the bottom, in the middle, we have Eau Naturelle and then Falcon. These are gonna be their tinted lip oils. Listen, the shades are really pretty, very wearable. I don't feel like a lot of people would gravitate towards Falcon just by looking at the packaging because it does look intimidating. For like every day, I would probably go with Eau Naturelle or this one over here, which is called Taupe. So let's go with Taupe. I'm doing the bottom so you can see. I love the shades. The formulas do feel like an oil, and y'all know how I feel about it. So if you're a lip oil girl, you might actually like these. See how forgiving it is? I just, I don't like the feeling of a slippy and slidey. Trust me, I'm trying to work through it. There are several lip oil, I've tried a lot of them, and there's so many that I just haven't really liked. These, the only reason why I still have them is because the shades are stunning. They just slippy and slidey and I feel weird. I feel like I'm just putting olive oil all over my lips. And so, because it's more of a feeling texture thing, it's a formula thing, I'm not obsessed with them, but, um, I do love the shades. I'm wondering though, if they're open and or considering creating eyeshadow formulas, like a nice little quad, six pan palette, something cute. 
I would love that. We can go ahead and try the perfume. I'm concerned because my face says everything. If I don't like it, you're gonna know. This is the box that the fragrance comes in. So you literally have a box with another box inside. I love how simple, it's like very classy. And then I don't want it to fall. How retrospect, retrospect. That's the uh, fragrance's name. Very fancy. Girl, it speaks to me and it screams woman. Okay, very pretty. Now the question is, does it smell good? I don't. I have, hello, you have to spray it. So this is retrospect. Beautiful packaging. I love the divot within it. The cap, stunning. You do have to press it in. Okay, you have to press it in. Let's smell. I don't know why I do this to myself because I spray it and if I don't like it, oh my God, I'm stuck with it. I taste it. <clears throat> Hold on, I taste it. This smells amazing. Oh my. Oh, oh, not that I need more. Wow. Guys, this smells absolutely amazing. Sophisticated, strong, very woman, but sexy. Like, cause it smells so freaking fantastic. I wanted to find out what the notes were and I don't see it anywhere in the packaging. So we needed to pull it up on the computer, which is why I love having my viewfinder being a desktop because I can see, plus I can like research. Your top notes are bergamot and pear. The heart is gonna be jasmine and a rosemary. And then the bottom are vanilla, musk, and moss. It doesn't smell fruity or floral. It's like this amazing, amazing blend. And they're describing it as a rich, nuanced, scent that evolves throughout the day. Soft, clean notes open, followed by a subtle floral center before settling into a base of musk, vanilla, and moss for a warm second skin finish. Friends. Friends. I was not expecting this to smell the way that it does. The packaging is beautiful, but the fragrance. I smell amazing and i've smelled a lot there's a reason why brands are coming out with such luxury fragrances it's very different they are unique i've never smelled anything like this if smell a vision was a thing and i could kind of just kind of like bring you guys up close just spray so you guys can smell it this is amazing listen i know christmas is around the corner there are several items that i featured today that are really good they're great they're new black friday deals are out you need you need this add it to your wish list Gift it to yourself for Christmas. And if snagging luxury and high-end product at the best price point is a priority, which I feel like it is for me, and I love saving me some good coin, Black Friday deals is when to snag product. I know a lot of you guys have already tried Merit Beauty, so please let me know in the comments, how do you feel about the brand? How do you feel about the product? What have you tried that you're obsessed with? Let's have a conversation about it. I really hope you've enjoyed this brand focus, product application and review video. Be on the lookout, we have a brand new video tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys really, really soon. Bye guys.